Well, the middle of January probably is actually a good time to start thinking about preparing both our bodies and our minds for the drum corps season and preseason training, which of course starts in May. I said bodies and minds. A couple of years ago, I did a DCI field pass with Dr. Jake Levy talking about conditioning your mind for drum corps. And Dr. Levy is here with us in Indianapolis. Just finished a session, in fact, with some, yes. of, the, uh, some of the instructors and directors here. Welcome. Hey, Good thank you, Dan. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well. When we talked for that podcast, um, I remember thinking, well, drum corps and, and the summer, it's a happy time. You know, you're there doing what you love, otherwise you wouldn't be going through the hardship of doing it in the first place. Right. It's not, being on tour is not kind of something that we associate with maybe having uh, a mental breakdown or, or an emotional problem. Right. And, it, you know, the, the physical actually intersects with the mental with that. You know, because, yeah, everyone who does this activity loves this activity. So it's not a, it's not a want to problem. You know, but as we, it is stressful. It's a lot of work. You know, it, it's a high stress activity, there's performance stress associated with it, and they're working really hard. And there's a lot of ebb and flow to the season that happens where physically our bodies are starting to get fatigued, and then that actually has an effect on our mental abilities, you know, to kind of cope with. And sure. things that we use to cope with our normal day-to-day -day stressors may not be available to us when we're on tour. And so I'll, I'll, I'll tell, I worked with the uh, drum majors this morning and the directors this afternoon and told both of them, drum corps doesn't create these problems, but it is a nice miracle grow for anything <laughs> that's there. Huh. And, and so it, it, it will exacerbate whatever is there. So if a person, and certainly, you know, just like any other youth activity, there's a number of folks coming from a variety of backgrounds with varieties of histories that may be coming in with some pre-existing conditions, both physically and psychologically, that this may exacerbate a little bit for them, even if they want to do it. So it's not a want to problem. And they may feel like they are in a position that they can manage it, but again, the resources that they may have available to them or their normal resources aren't available and it can, can creep some stuff up. And as we get tired, as we get worn down, then we physically don't feel well and that can sometimes trigger kind of this almost muscle memory in the mind where we have this this experience where oh I feel this way when I'm depressed or down or anxious so I must be depressed or down or anxious and they they may be but they also just may be exhausted but this activity like a lot of stressful activities any sport any elite sports gonna kind of push that and so we see the same things in drum corps that we do I work with with athletes and collegiate athletes I work with professional athletes and you know in the past it's the same kind of stressors that, that we see, um, and because it's in such a condensed uh, time frame where there really isn't kind of a built-in like natural recovery time. Like if you imagine, if I asked you, well, how do you just kind of unwind from the week? Well, you know, I may just kind of unplug and kind of veg out for a day or two and, you know, just, you doesn't know. doesn't happen you know, on tour. It does not happen <laughs> on tour. There, there, are, there aren't those. And, and cores do, it, you know, work their best to try to build in rest time and recovery, but it's, it's a demanding schedule. And we talked a little bit about the directors of trying to maybe examine the ebb and flow of the season to maybe help program that a little bit better to meet some of those needs, but also, to, to maybe get a little ahead of identifying some issues that people are bringing into to drum corps. So we can not, you know, exclude them or in any way kind of, you know, marginalize that experience, but just so we know so we can better prepare for it. So if they need some resources available to them or we can get hooked up with their providers at home and make sure that everyone's on the same page, that make everyone have the be best experience that they can. Did you talk to the drum majors and directors about spotting problems as well? Sure, like early identification is huge. And, you know, one of the biggest fears um, uh, is what do you do when you notice something that's, that's not right? you know, that, you're, that you have a concern. And there's a, a fear that I don't want to make this problem wrong, I don't want to embarrass this person, I don't want to point something out or do say the wrong thing to make it worse. I mean, that's a, that's a fear. And I, occupational hazard for me is I just don't literally have that fear anymore because I see and can ask. Because I know that I'm not going to make a problem worse by simply asking about it. You know, that, that if a person doesn't have a problem, they'll tell me they don't have a problem. But also I need to, to show you know, real genuine concern for what, what I'm asking about. You know, what specifically am I seeing that I'm concerned about helping to facilitate a supportive dialogue, letting the kids know all along throughout the summer that, that there are people that, it, it's, that they can talk to, they have a support system that's available to them, and then for the support system to be in place so they, there are some kind of clear 
lines of communication that, that can happen for us to kind of share that. But also getting really good health histories on these kids so we know ahead of time, just, just in the same way that we would want to know if someone had a, had a cardiac condition or had diabetes. We manage a number of physical illnesses on, on tour. I mean, that, but it's just about knowing that just so we can have a good plan, you know, to try to minimize whatever potential impact that that's going to have. Jake, thanks. Appreciate My pleasure. It. Dr. Thank Jake you. Levy, former marching member of the Cavaliers, by the way, and a psychologist joining us here in Indianapolis. Hey, it's Dan Potter. Tina Pliagas and I will be covering all of the action at the Drum Corps International Annual Meetings and the Health, Wellness, and Safety Summit. You can follow along at home as well. All you have to do is like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and of course the DCI YouTube channel, and we will bring you all of the action right here on the DCI News Network.